Hello and welcome back to my channel, Sarah Lisa. Last week we opened one of two uh, mystery jewelry grab bag bottles and this week we're going to open the other. I had a super long work morning today and I decided that it would be fun to have a coffee break and relax and open this up. So let's get to it. I chose this bottle at the shop because I could see in the very top of it there's something with pretty um, green stones and these are similar at least to my August wasp. Okay, I might open the door and be right back. Got rid of the wasp and added my dog. So let's try again. We're gonna open this up. I picked this one because of the stones that I thought were very similar to my August birthstone. Let's crack in here and I'll show you what's inside. This one was also $15. And okay, let's take this bit out first because it's why I bought this jar. It, oh, I love this. This is a necklace. I thought it might be a bracelet. It's got a little bit of some attached to it but it is really really pretty and I'm probably whoops it's a nice short length too I'm probably gonna keep this one I'll have to see um in a mirror afterwards but really sweet and right on time for an August birthday I love it very nice That'll be next. Okay, this is just strange. <laughs> it is a piece of glass and it's fastened to a ribbon. Oh, another one. Okay, we're gonna try and ignore that one and maybe he'll just leave. He's not leaving. Yep, yeah, we gotta kill that. I'm going to put them on this tray because this is super busy, the placements that I have out right now. So that's the necklace that I like. This is the necklace, hi Peanut, that I'm not so fond of. Hopefully someone likes it. It'll go into a donate pile. It's a piece of glass art necklace that was next up. And the thing that fell out was a pretty little carved brooch pin of some roses. It's here. Okay. Next is, I thought it was a brooch, but it is a scarf clip. It's signed on the back, but I might need a loop to see it. It's looks like it might say West Germany, which a lot of vintage pieces of jewelry do say West Germany. And one more brooch right away. Oh, this is really cute for an artist. It's a palette and a paintbrush. Pretty sweet. Again, I don't really wear brooches. Um, myself, but I do appreciate them and I know a lot of other people do too, so I'll probably just take those in and donate them. On a side note, I'm already in the plus. I've sold, I think, four items from the last little jewelry jar haul, so I've already um, paid for the jar and this jar and 
started to turn a profit and that is always something fun to do if you like thrifting is thrift a bit for yourself and then also you can thrift to turn a profit to either support your habit or addiction of thrifting or to have like a small business on the side. Okay. Next in here is a bracelet. This is quite pretty. I rather like that. I could see myself wearing that. The clasp is strong. Unstamped, but quite nice. You'll have to excuse the gnarly burn on my arm. I had a accident with my crock pot a couple weeks ago and it is taking a while to heal up. Here's a fun beaded kind of 90s look necklace with black and white little flowers. And something on a card. Let's see what this is. How did she even get this in here? Oh my word. How oh, indeed. Okay. <laughs> that was not on the card. This is a stick pin brooch um, attached to half of a card that looks like it snapped <laughs> when she was loading it into the jar. So it was new with tags and it's a vintage stick pin. I'll get rid of this bit. And it was attached to a gold and pearl necklace, which is really pretty. Let's see if it's stamped. No stamp at all, but a nice shorter length necklace. I quite like that one. I'll show you at the end which things that I'm thinking of keeping for myself. This would look pretty with the dress ooh, that I'm wearing right now. Shorter necklaces, which really um, do suit me well. These little leaves need to get sort of pressed down and played with, but this is a nice vintage piece and has some leaves in these soft sort of lilac purple beads. I think this is really sweet. Also going into my keep pile for sure. A pair of clip-on earrings. And I'll try to get the other pair together. Also, clip-on earrings. Here is a costume ring. It is stamped the Keen family. I don't know what that means. It is quite loud, but the first ring of the lot. Another stick pin. This one looks like an actual pin pretty. And another stick pin. This one likely a token from Australia. It is a golden kangaroo. I'll do a scan at the end so you can sort of have a look at everything but a lot of pins in this one. Here is a necklace. Ooh, this is absolutely lovely. A profile of a woman. It's a vintage piece. Let's see here, some free fluff. Not signed at all, but it's really a pretty cameo. I hope you can see it. I quite like that and would gladly wear that. 
She's quite pretty. Another pin, this is beautiful, but it is someone's initials. Maybe B E J. Really quite pretty. Obviously hard to wear the initials of someone unless they happen to match exactly, which happened to me once on a tool leather handbag. They had um, my initials and I liked the bag. I was thrilled to find that. We're into the last few pieces here. We have a horseshoe. Oh, this is quite sweet. A horseshoe pendant with pearls. Quite, oh, maybe it goes, does it go this way or this way? Probably goes this way. And I like the look of this. This says like 1950s to me, these delicate flowers. Now they're often missing the insides. So I'll have to just check it for completeness. But this is really pretty. I do wear necklaces and I prefer um, a shorter, like 18 inch or shorter chain myself, which Pretty much all of them are today, so I'm kind of excited about that. I think that is really, really sweet. And yeah, this looks complete. Sometimes it's just missing the little gem in the center. Um, and then obviously it's hard to replace that. The last item looks maybe Mexican alabone to me. And it's some sort of little critter, another brooch. So I'll give you a pan here and show you what fit into this jar. Again, a lot fits into these. And I would say I'm probably keeping one, two, three, four, maybe this bracelet too, five things out of the lot, which is pretty good for my $15 bottle. I hope you enjoyed opening this up with me and relaxing. I hope you got to take a second out of your day and have your own cup of coffee. And I'll see you back here next week with a brand new one. I do believe we will go thrifting. Bye.